Hello, welcome to this video. This video is a video on the pre decimalization one penny and the post decimalization one penny, and also the pre decimalization half penny and the new post decimalization half penny, which the half penny is discontinued anyway. But basically, there was a Time in 1971, where we decimalized from 12s to 10s to be in line with other nations around. So we decimalized. So we decimalized from 240 pence in the pound to 100 pence in the pound. So here's the pre-decimalization. Pre September first, nineteen seventy one, one pennies. Which this one says on it, nineteen sixty six, and this one says on it, nineteen sixty four, and this is the Irish one penny, which says on it, nineteen forty three. And here is a post decimalization one penny from uh, 1990. And here is another post decimalization penny from 2013. And here's what they look like in comparison to each other. There we are. And now onto the half penny. So here we are. Here is a one half penny from 1958 with Queen Elizabeth on it. That one. Here is a Pre decimalization half penny from uh, nineteen forty four with King George on it. And here's another pre decimalization half penny from nineteen forty three with King George on it. So there's the pre decimalization ones. And then here is the post decimalization half pennies. This one has Queen Elizabeth on it. Because she's still the current way in at the time. Half penny. And this one's from 1973. And there's another half penny from 1971. Now we can compare the size difference again from pre decimalization to post decimalization. There you go.
See the difference between pre-decimalization and post-decimalization? Yes, the post-decimalization ones are smaller. So there we are. And I can say now, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and give a thumbs up below. Goodbye.